All right, here I'm back with another video where I'm going to use the Signal SDR Pro. I have the crowd supply page pulled up here, so at least you can see what it looks like. I didn't show it in the last video where I showed essentially Osmo Network in the box scripts running within a Docker. I know I just kind of blew through that. It was just showing how to set up a GSM network and mess with some end phones uh, that connect. But in this case, I'm just going to go through a little slower through this. This is the uh, SDR that I have plugged into the computer that I'm recording on, and uh, it's, a, it's about the size of a Pi, and so far it acts uh, essentially just like a B210. You don't have to change the uh, drivers uh, in Dragon OS, uh, nor do you have to change the bin file. Just plug it in and it works. So what I want to show this time is from the same person that uh, developed the application that I showed yesterday also has this LTE SIB parser. And so I, I wrote some notes down because you might be like, well, wh what the heck is that? But um, the um, SIB being the system information block uh, are used to broadcast uh, network information to mobile devices. So I thought it was pretty interesting to be able to look at LTE, survey it in some uh, capacity, and uh, parse out some information. Um, so what we're probably going to be looking at is uh, the, the system information blocks that are sent as part of the radio resource control messages. And I figured, well, what does that really matter? Uh, I feel like it, understanding the SIB and how it breaks down and the, the raw data uh, that the network is broadcasting, I, I don't know. I just feel like you're going to get a little smarter on how cellular networks work. And I can't show everything in this video. Uh, and to make it clear, I am going to look at, find, and parse a uh, uh, basically a EMB uh, a network that I'm creating. So, uh, but but this will work against uh, in surveying real networks. Uh, I just for this lab setup, I'm just going to do the uh, uh, my own network. And so what we're at the end of this, once we survey and find what we're going to pull out, <clears throat> we're going to get uh, information out that shows like allowed measurement bandwidth, the IRSEN, the reference signal received power, tracking area code, cell identity, the MCC and MNC, meaning the mobile country code and mobile network code. And if this was a real network, it can actually find adjacent uh, cells and, and, and really um, kind of get a lot of information out across an entire survey quick uh, quickly well I mean as quickly as you can go through all the signals so uh, what I probably should have did was while I'm talking have built the docker uh, so I'll, I'll fast forward through this but if, if you want to get this set up on Dragon OS um, Focal X uh, being that it doesn't have docker installed by default if you look at one of my other repos here the flight view GUI talks about setting up the Docker's app repository. So if you complete these steps pretty much as it shows right here, copy and paste, what you end up with is uh, putting a, a, a repo in place and uh, pulling in the Docker information that we need. And then after you do that, one other thing that you probably want to do is uh, create a Docker group, which it should already, and then add yourself to that Docker group and then log out and log back in. And then you won't have to run sudo before every single thing that you want to do with Docker. So I have already done that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this repository here. And I'm just doing it in my home directory with a git clone. Probably if I looked at it close enough, we could probably set this up on the host system uh, and, and not use Docker. But that this is fine so what I'm gonna do is and there's actually some recent changes I uh, pointed out there was a problem with building it and having the uh, FPGA and the bin files necessary so you can see 11 hours ago it was updated and so I'm just going to do the docker compose build within the LTE SIB parser directory and uh, I <laughs> this will take a little while because it's going to go through and build SRS uh, RAN and, and um, or the SRS RAN project. I think it actually is the one that applies to LTE. Uh, 
and some other repos that it's going to pull in. So in the end, it ends up about a, I think, close to about a two gig Docker, although that may have been reduced uh, with this recent uh, uh, update 11 hours ago. So I'll let this run and I'll cut it out so you don't have to sit here and just watch this whole thing build. And then we'll come back and I'll uh, finish out the rest of the video. All right, <clears throat> uh, the Docker is almost finished. I just wanted to jump back in here while it's uh, finishing up. Again, I just want to point out a couple of things. So, for example, in uh, Dragon OS, UHD uh, 4.1, I think it is, we'll find out here in a second, is actually what's running on the host uh, because it's 22.04 based. And, and um, so if we run that, we, well, okay, so we see 4.1.0.5. And without changing anything, uh, it finds the um, signal SDR. And so if we do something like Osmocom, uh, so I have a GPU in this, this desktop that's running. I have an NVIDIA GPU. So if I run, uh, let, let me think, a Phosphor. We'll run a, an FFT and Waterfall real quick. Uh, and just to show you that it loads up the stock uh, FPGA image. I can see in the background the Docker is finished. So. I'll just let this load up really quick here. And so it's going to start on a uh, very low, let's see, a gain and, and a bandwidth. I'll take it to the max bandwidth. The interesting thing is the sample rate uh, can actually go higher than what this slider goes to. I'm a guessing I could probably... Oops. 144, I think it is. I'm getting it mixed up. That number sounds right, but I'm, I'm like drawing a blank for a second. If I take it up to say 2.4 and we raise the, the gain, we're going to see quite a bit of, uh, and, and now I'm pushing a lot here with this, um, you know, it's kind of an older CPU here, but you can see um, we're using it and uh, we're seeing if that, if that sample rate is in fact right, uh, 60 something uh, on this, <coughs> excuse me, on the sample rate, 50, over 50 something on the bandwidth, and we can see uh, our, oh, that's interesting, we can see the uh, Wi-Fi uh, activity that's going on, Not quite sure what's going on there, but anyways, we just, I just wanted to show that, hey, it works like uh, with quite a few things with Dragon OS right out of the box. Now let's get back to our LTE a SIB parser here. We finished building the Docker and then we can see that uh, all we need to do is within the directory use the run um, thing here. Let me see. This can connect. Interesting. Uh, oh, okay. So something was changed here between the last time I ran it and 11 hours ago. I'll have to make note of this uh, in a ticket here. But cannot stat. Yeah, I don't want to push a bin into there. Let me see. Um, I guess what we could do is, let me think, let me think. Okay, local share. So let's do copy user. You're not going to have to do this uh, probably after watching this video. I'm just going to... I'm trying to remember here, USRP B210, and let's copy that into volume helpers UHD. There should be a uh, an exception here because I don't need a custom bin file. Uh, so that, that's not accounted for right now, but you can see that once I just kind of 
did a little work around there. I copied the original bin file over to this Docker's uh, volume helpers UHD images just to make it be quiet, not complain. The, the images should be available right now, so I'm inside the Docker image. And let me think. So UHD, so now you're going to see that the UHD changed. It's now 4.8 in the Docker, and it finds the uh, radio or the SDR. Let's do a probe just to make sure that it does have the images, and it does. So, okay, so we're good there. The other note I want to say is that I don't have the GPS connected, and uh, that's something else I want to work through. I, uh, this uh, signal SDR. Pro comes with a GPS antenna and a GPS DO and um, actually works pretty well, but I don't have that hooked up right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, get back to doing the SIB scan here and like I talked through and hit the, the points there, what like why we're doing this and what information we're going to get from it. If I do SIB scan, I'm just uh, checking to see what the options are here, but SIB scan, let me think, so if I do in uh, 7 and say I start at 33 40 and, and let's end at uh, 33 60 let's see how this handles it so what I'm really looking for is something on uh, 33 50 is what we should find so I'm gonna run this we're gonna see it's using the signal pro uh, or the SDR I can't I keep getting the name mixed up here signal Signal SDR Pro. So we can see the Earth's, Earth's in here. So we're getting close to the 3350 and it's kind of slowing down. And so imagine if you did a survey of a whole band. Yeah, it may take long. Uh, so there we go. We can see that, hey, it found something and it's going to queue up a scan of the ER, uh, EARFCN uh, on 3350. And I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, but it's like, I'm trying to remember the E. It's like the E Ultra uh, Absolute Radio Frequency Channel Number is that whole acronym. <clears throat> and that, that number essentially identifies the frequency band used uh, for the uh, between the mobile device and the cell tower. So uh, you can see it corresponds to a frequency. So we looked at that, and it's going to continue on. What we put? I think we put end at 33.60, so I'm expecting, uh, obviously, here to stop. So it stopped, and it scanned the 33.50. Now, obviously, if you scanned a whole real band, you're going to get a lot of information back. And then we can come down, and you can read about <clears throat> how to parse the data. So parse data with uh, DB helper scripts gives you a couple different examples. You can even put it into... Uh, you know different locations um, let's see so rescan so let's do the uh, you, we'll, we'll do both of them so we're in volume and so if we do Python 3 DB DB parsers list cells and Let's do output, and we got our cells.sqlite. Maybe not. All right, well, slight change of plans um, so as to not redo the whole video. Uh, I didn't really get any information from my uh, little network setup here, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a SIB uh, scan of the band 2 and I'm going to let this run for a while and what it'll do is hopefully find some active uh, frequencies here and we'll look we'll take a look after the fact and see if we can run some scripts and get some information out of it so that you can kind of see beginning to end how this uh, should work. So uh, give me a minute. I'll be back again. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, the little lab setup, uh, I didn't get any information back. So I want to check and make sure that nothing else has changed in the, in the code here. And so we're going to 
we're going to run this uh, against just band two for real and uh, I'll be back here in a second. Alright, so I'm back. I ran through a scan. This is going to be very limited information, uh, but this is what to expect when you do a, a survey and actually get information back. So uh, I really quickly just scanned like one uh, thing on band two. And so now we can see if we list our cells, uh, list the, the Python file, we can get the uh, information back on that. And then if we use our other script to get more info, and so I'm going to blank out some of what comes back here, but we can see that you can get the band, the RSRP, the TAC, the cell identity, the MCC, MNC. Uh, you can get neighboring uh, information there. And so just imagine if you did a whole uh, survey, you could really uh, get an idea of what's going on there with uh, LTE. And that is all with the Signal SDR Pro and Dragon OS. All right, so hopefully that was a little more context to what the heck I'm doing and why you would do it. Uh, if there's a better way or you want to see more information on something, uh, let me know and uh, I will try to go more in depth. Uh, but there you go. All right.